Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we will see how to find the perimeter and the area of this shape below, which is a rectangle. And you notice we have two formula for the perimeter and for the area. Well, let's start with the perimeter, which says here is two lengths plus two widths. So now um, it really doesn't matter which I consider the length, which I consider the width. But let's say this is the length and this one is the width. And why two times? Because you notice these two guys are the same congruent and these two are the same congruent. So whenever you have a rectangle, you don't have to work that much to find the perimeter. You have to find only two sides, the length and the width. So let's say you start with this length. Uh, you can use the distance formula and uh, use the point A and D, or you can use this triangle, uh, which is a right triangle. And we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The length of this uh, leg of that red triangle is 8, and this one is 1, 2. Okay, so we have this triangle. 8 and 2, and this is C, so I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equal C squared. So we have 8 squared plus 4 squared, I'm sorry, 2 squared equal C squared. 8 squared is 64 plus 2 squared, that is 4, equal C squared. So C squared equal 64 plus 4, that will be 68. For finding C, we just need to take square root of 68. And that square root of 68 can be simplified. 68 is 4 times 17. Okay, 4 is a perfect square. So square root of 4 is 2. 2 square root of 17 is the simplified form for C. And C in this case is nothing else than the segment AD which is the length of this triangle, uh, rectangle. Uh, similar we're going to do for W, which is right here. We're going to draw this triangle in this case. And let's see. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. And this is 1. Uh, so we have uh, this triangle. And this is 4, this is 1, and we're going to use the same thing, a square plus b square equals c square. And we're going to have 4 square plus 1 square equals c square. 4 square is 16, plus 1 square, that is 1, right, equals c square. So we end up with c square equals 17 and c equals square root of 17 but remember in this case this c is the width or dc if you want to call it like that of this rectangle so now we can find the perimeter which is 2 times l l like i said it's this ad 2 times 2 square root of 17 plus 2 times w and w is this dc the width and that will be a uh, square root of 17. now if we take a look 2 times 2 it's 4 right here 2 times 2 it's 4 and we have 4 square root of 17 plus 2 square root of 17 so the last step is to combine these two radicals they are alike and we have 4 square root of 17 plus 2 square root of 17 that is 6 square root of 17 this is the perimeter of this uh, rectangle and now we can move to the last part which is the area of this rectangle and the area if you notice i sit down here is length times width or base times height, depends how you need it. In this case, I'm going to use length times width. And the length is 
to square root of 17 and the width is square root of 70. So we have here two times. Now when we multiply these two square roots, square root of 17 times square root of 17, it is 17. So the area will be 2 times 17, which is 34. And that's it. If you enjoy this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-square for more help. Thank you.